Welcome to Automotive Insight. Today's vehicle is a 2017 Toyota Yaris. Customer states are growling, roar noise. We remove the serpentine belt and the noise goes away. After further diagnosis, we found the water pump is failing. So we're gonna replace the water pump. Let's get to it. <laughs> So before taking the serpentine belt off, uh, one thing to help, uh, we gotta get the, the bolts on the water pump pulley loose. Um, using a pry bar, I'll pry it between one of the bolts and the water pump. They're 10 millimeters. All right, we're gonna loosen up the alternator. The upper mount is a 12 millimeter. Uh, the lower bolt is a 14 millimeter. I tend to find that the lower bolt on these cars really tight. <clears throat> I've had cases where I've stripped the bolt out. So make sure it's got a good secure fit. And we can slide the alternator and we can remove the belt. We're going to disconnect the battery. It's a 10 millimeter. Draining the coolant. Uh, the drain is in the middle of the radiator on the bottom. All right, now we're going to work on disconnecting the alternator. We'll do the harness bracket. We'll disconnect the, the control connector and then we'll undo the B plus terminal. These plastic covers on the B plus terminal are common to break. The B plus terminal is a 10 millimeter. Now we're going to remove the bolts from the water pump pulley. Okay, we'll remove the upper bolt, alternator bracket to get it out of the way. We'll just remove it completely. It didn't have much room as I thought. We'll remove the lower alternator bolt. This AC bracket, we can't get that uh, the lower bolt all the way out. There's a 10 millimeter. Now we should be able to remove the alternator. We're gonna start removing the water pump. I think there's like three bolts and, and two nuts. They're, uh, they're all 10 millimeters. We got the water pump loose, we just can't quite quite get it out. So we're gonna loosen up the um, uh, the engine mount on the dry belt side. We're just gonna take the three 14 millimeter bolts out and then see if we can jack up the engine. All right, got it. So this is common, is to see these water pumps weeping. And if they get bad enough, they can even leak. We got our new water pump. We'll go ahead and put our gasket in place. This is an OE water pump, just cause even the OEs are bad about leaking. The aftermarket ones are even worse.
see. All right, so we're gonna put this back a, a, a little bit different than the way we took it apart because having the engine jacked up actually gives us a little easier access to everything. But we're gonna put the water pump pulley back on. Now we're gonna go back in with our alternator. Um, I've had the spacer, I put the bolt in, and uh, I knocked the spacer back out. I brace it on the back side here, because if you don't, you can snap the ear of the uh, alternator off. Oh, and some nasty stuff in there. There need to be a bite, almost. And seeing how the engine is, that we had the engine up, we didn't have to take that bracket loose because that gives us the distance for the bolt. We'll put our upper bracket on. We're going to leave that loose. We'll install the upper alternator bolt. got an alternator in place it's still loose now we're going to install a new serpentine belt this is an OE belt um, service procedure says to install the belt tighten it run the engine for 10 minutes and then retighten the belt because this belt has a tendency to stretch so if you just over tighten it to begin with you run the risk of straining the bearings and the new water pump So using a pry bar on the back of the alternator, we'll use that to, to first uh, put some tension on the belt. We'll tighten the upper bolt. Reinstall the mount. Bracket bolt I unnecessarily took out. Next, we'll reconnect our, our alternator. We'll reconnect our battery. Yeah, I'm going to let it run for a little while, for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and uh, readjust the belt, and uh, we'll let the cooling system burp while it's running, and then this will wrap this one up. All right, well that wraps us up. Uh, we let our, the engine run for about 10 minutes. We burped the cooling system and we retightened the serpentine belt and everything sounds a whole lot better. Uh, this job, um, parts can range from anywhere about 70 to $130 plus your coolant and labor costs for about two and a half hours. I may not have all your answers. Hopefully I had one, but that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Said I'll pick you up at Labor does call for about two and a half hours. If your sister-in-law is helping you film, about three and a half. Put the phone closer. Sorry. Was, I'm, no, I'm sorry for <laughs> not moving it. This whole week I have been insulted by people just probably saying things that aren't meant to be.